Coming up next on News Center 2, legal action taken in the rich stadium dirty cup case. And a tragic fire in Ohio takes the lives of six children. A Western New York priest is murdered in New Orleans. And a Buffalo man who's officially going for the White House. I'm Beverly Armstrong. Join us for all the news next here on News Center 2. You hear the thunder, the call of the go. You feel the power, you gotta go. You feel excitement, right in Bonneville. Get on your Bonneville ride, Bonneville ride. A full-size sedan with Pontiac excitement. Test drive a Bonneville and check it out. Get on your Bonneville, we build excitement. Hello? What's the matter? Where are you? Before your children have to make decisions about drugs, teach them why to say no. Teach them how to say no. We'll be right there. It's okay. Our son just said no to some friends. He needs a ride home. We're proud of you, son. This message is in support of President and Mrs. Reagan's Just Say No to Drugs program. If Santa isn't in your favorite store, he's probably in his face, snapping up batteries like these. Duracell alkaline batteries with $1 rebates make supercharged last-minute stocking stuffers. And Schweppes one-liter mixers are only 64 cents. For last-minute shopping, Phase is open till 9.30 this Sunday, Christmas Eve until 7. Santa's from all over shop at Phase, even from way up north. Another reason Phase is obviously not your average Christmas store. With the patented spring-loaded tungsten carbide sharpening heads inside every case, the Wilshire Stay Sharp Knife stays as sharp as the day you bought it. Wilshire, the sharp knife that stays that way. This is WGRZ-TV, Buffalo, New York. From News Center 2, here's Beverly Armstrong. Good evening, everyone. We told you first exclusively that dirty cups were being reused at Rich Stadium. Well, today, legal action was taken against the man alleged to have actually reused the cups. Police in Orchard Park today issued a criminal summons to Donald Bauer of Hamburg. The summons charges Bauer with violating public health laws. Bauer is charged with a misdemeanor for allegedly reusing cups to sell hot chocolate during the November 29th Bills game against the Miami Dolphins. As we reported first last night, the Bills have notified the concessionaire, Ogden Food Service, that the practice may be in violation of their contract. A small community in Ohio is in shock tonight, reeling in the wake of a fire that killed six children and a 28-year-old woman. Officials in Pleasantville, Ohio, say the woman was babysitting for the six children, three of whom were her own. Investigators believe all were sleeping when the fire started, and though the duplex is right next door to a firehouse, firefighters couldn't get there fast enough. From the time we received a call until the first uh, ladder was put on the roof where the people were, it was two minutes. And I had the ladder up and I tried to make an entry and the, the heat was so intense that I couldn't get into them. All seven bodies were found in an upstairs bedroom. Smoke inhalation is believed to be the cause of death and the cause of the fire is under investigation. In New Orleans, a 37-year-old Rochester native who was serving as a parish priest, was murdered in a church rectory, strangled and bludgeoned to death. Father Patrick McCarthy's body was found today after a housekeeper became worried and was unable to open his locked bedroom door. Tonight, an autopsy is being performed while neighbors mourn the priest they love so well, even though he'd only been at the parish for three months. They say Father McCarthy had taken in a wanderer and gave him a job as a cook. And tonight, police are looking for 27-year-old Marcus Hamilton. The guy told him that somebody was after him, and his father took him to go get his gun out the pawn shop yesterday. And uh, that was the last, you know, that's the last thing they, they, you know, they heard about it. And they thought that was a bad idea, but that was it. Police say they have no motive for that killing. In Rochester, the man accused of causing the crash of a Pacific Southwest airliner was buried today. About 200 people showed up at David Burke's funeral. Burke lived in Rochester most of his life, and though he is accused of causing the crash and the deaths of 43 people, Burke was eulogized today by family and friends as an honorable man. The FBI says had Burke survived, there would be enough evidence to charge him with causing that tragedy. 
Well, back home, a Lockport man is under arrest tonight after a shooting at an Eastside housing project. Police say 40-year-old Willie Anderson allegedly fired a shotgun at a second man, 28-year-old James Taylor of Buffalo. They say an argument may have sparked the incident. Nobody was hit or injured, but Anderson was taken into custody. He stands charged tonight with felony reckless endangerment, felony weapons possession, along with several other charges. A West Seneca teenager is in fair condition tonight after a two-car accident in West Seneca. 18-year-old Patrick Gorman was taken by Mercy Flight to ECMC. Police say Gorman was headed west on Woodward Road when he lost control on a curve, crossed into the opposite lane, and hit an oncoming car. Gorman's car reportedly rolled twice before coming to rest on its roof. The occupants of the other vehicle, 49-year-old Howard Meisner and his father, Robert Meisner, both of Hamburg, are being treated tonight at Mercy Hospital. It's a heartwarming homecoming for a Cheektowaga paper boy struck and hit by a hit-and-run driver just two weeks ago. 12-year-old Philip Matter was in a coma for three days and listed in critical condition after the accident on French Road. Tonight he is home with his family. What are you looking forward to most about going home? My family getting back together with me here. I kind of miss them. How do you feel? Fine. They're fine. I see you're not taking the wheelchair route out today. Why not? I guess they said I can walk, and no, well, I guess it's just for emergencies. So I guess I was an emergency. What's, <laughs> what's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Sleep. Mm. Or, or eat, whatever comes first. <laughs> The Matter family is extending thanks to Children's Hospital and the scores of well-wishers. Were you surprised by the response? Uh, yes, I was. I, very, I really was. Um, there are just so many nice people out there. It's unbelievable. Best Christmas present we could get. Philip faces therapy and follow-up examinations and won't be returning to school until February. The hit-and-run driver remains at large. They want to go home for Christmas, but instead, members of Congress are still in Washington working to wrap up a $600 million spending plan to avoid a government shutdown. After the deadline at midnight this morning, the government was technically out of cash, and President Reagan could play Scrooge in all this. The president says he'll veto any spending plan that doesn't include an aid package for the Nicaraguan Contra rebels. There hasn't been a native Buffalonian elected president since the turn of the century, but a North Buffalo man is looking to change that. New Center 2's Les Trent has that story. Vice President George Bush, Kansas Senator Bob Dole. You probably recognize all or most of the Republican presidential candidates, but there's a new face on the scene. This office has received your declaration of candidacy as a Republican candidate for the office of President of the United States. That's the declaration. 46-year-old Michael Levinson of North Buffalo has filed as a Republican candidate in the New Hampshire primary. With a stash of campaign paraphernalia in the trunk of his mother's Cadillac, he'll tackle the likes of Vice President George Bush and Congressman Jack Kemp. He wants former boxing champ Muhammad Ali as his vice president. Because he's a stand-up guy who's a fighter for human rights, who is known and loved throughout the world, and who is... How does candidate Levinson stand on the issues? Nicaragua. We passed a law that says any third world nation that wants to learn to speak an American lingo and practice democratic principles, if they vote, that they, they can then vote themselves a commonwealth like Puerto Rico. And the Middle East and the hostages? Mahastori Girugan Hahastim. That's Persian. I speak Farsi. What does that mean? That means all we ask is return of our own. That's what that means. So I have a little rap for the Ayatollah if I get the chance to meet him to see about getting the hostages back. This author and former merchant seaman tried unsuccessfully for a spot on a congressional ballot last year and challenges all naysayers. Mm -hmm. This gentleman, whom no one has ever heard of, mm -hmm. who's never right. held elected office, right. doesn't have a chance in hell. Oh, no, people aren't going to say that at all. Because 40% of the American people in both parties are still looking for a candidate. He's got a point. In Buffalo, on the campaign trail, Les Trent, New Center 2. Well, across the world, unrest has hit the holy city of Bethlehem. And a temporary setback for the space shuttle resource and more when New Center 2 continues. Sibley's announces a very, very special event. A fur sale as big and as beautiful as all outdoors. Hurry to our perfectly beautiful sale at Sibley's Fur Salon now. 
You give your all, do all you do. Don't settle for less from your shampoo. Wash and go, Pert Plus. Ordinary shampoo can't give you this kind of manageability. You need Pert Plus with a unique combination of effective shampoo for cleaning plus conditioner for control all.